<laughs> Never. He's got himself sprawled all the way down my stomach and my legs, so he's <laughs> long catted now, and he's stretching That's... up and pawing at my nose and chin. That is absolutely adorable. All right. So, we are back, and I want things to be more glowy. Computer, turn off the lamp. There we go. Much more glowy. <clears throat> Previously on Extinction Curse. That's the working title until we get a party name up. <laughs> the various folks of the menagerie of wayward wonders the circus of wayward wonders sorry <clears throat> were preparing for their big debut show and just as the curtain was to rise tragedy struck Myron Thunder I forget his last name uh, was struck dead while the party was busy putting out teeny little fires throughout the circus. However, as these things go, they had to say on with the show and went and put an, a performance that the local town would remember for quite some time with Mike O'Nid taking the ringmaster's place, at least temporarily. What do you mean temporarily? No, no, no. I'm ringmaster. <laughs> Felix or and Mr. Kitty performing death-defying stunts. Gaslow the Clown being a, a clown. Hark! And Cinder playing with fire. <laughs> now we I join... I just had dwarves launched at me. <laughs> Dangerous, deadly dwarves launched at Cinder. Now. And I saved the day. <clears throat> now, we join our intrepid circus folk as they try to figure out who or what arranged the murder of their former boss slash friend slash mentor to some. With the people filing out of the circus and going on their way guided by the roustabouts we all who's, who's abusive who's vindictive and who did we just run away from? <laughs> well, there's only one logical explanation for all this. The snakes are trying to sabotage our circus. Why? <laughs> Got it. <laughs> now, when you say the snakes, are we saying all snakes collectively or just a subgroup of snakes? Is there a hierarchy of snakes? I never asked about that. I don't know. It could be anything. There were two of them here. Who knows? There might be more waiting to bite us. You can never trust snakes. You can't trust snakes anymore. You can trust rats. Exactly. I don't trust anything that has a circulatory system. <laughs> I don't trust anything with a scaly, st scaly tail. God, that... <laughs> Meanwhile, there's some kobold who's walking out. He just looks hurt. <laughs> Just pulls out a sign, Cobalt Lives Matter. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. All right. And demonetized. <laughs> uh, <down to> <clears throat> All right, I have loaded a map for you all. 
It is the rear of the circus, perhaps, um, where the camp is all set up. <clears throat> this does not necessarily mean this is where you are right yet. I'm just setting it up because, well, it, you know, might be important at some point. Clown, please do not revoke our movement privileges. No promises! Oh, that's weird. <laughs> now what that's been. <laughs> I see the map now. I am going to switch the music to something a little. Well, it'll probably still be dark and sinister, but. Let's see here. Uh, hey, Felix, you're in the water. I'm on the edge of the water. Give or take, he's got like a toe in it. <laughs> All right. So. <clears throat> Eventually, a number of the circus folk emerge from the tent and gather around, cross the little bridge across the stream to gather around a fire now that the sun is down and the moon is high. Now rising Yay, into the sky. <laughs> the professor is there. No, Cleo. No. You can come over here. <laughs> Interrupted by cat. Yep. It happens. No, 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 you don't understand. This game is interrupting the cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is true. You are not wrong. All right. Hey, hey get off. Okay. 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 Sorry, I'm just checking a few things. My little, the little parakeet is like drilling a hole in the wall. Oh, well, better tell the parakeet to do it when people aren't gaming. I tell him to do it, not do it regardless, because you know what? He's kind of destroying my property. Get off of there! And he knows he's not supposed to be there because reckon he gets up there and he immediately looks at me and sees if I'm watching. And if I move at all, he freaking immediately flies back. That's amusing. No, it sucks. <laughs> Little crapper. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> nope. Uh, how do I Cleo. All right, down here. All right, fine. You can be right here, but oh. not up on here. Got it? Got it? Yeah, I know. <laughs> you want to go and sit in front of the keyboard, but no. No. Oh. I need a bigger desk for your level of floof. No. You need a decoy. Unfortunately, I don't think a decoy would work terribly well, um, as she don't wants to be... Don't underestimate the power of a box. Well, she wants to be in front of me. That's the thing. I, I guess, yeah, you probably need a bigger desk, but freaking, there are some people that literally put, like... Oh yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, I'm I'm well aware of various places. tricks that work for cats. I I've had them for a while. <laughs> um, all right. So, <clears throat> as I said, a number of the people, of the various circus people, have gathered around the dwarven throwers, Eliza, with her snake around her shoulders. I eye it suspiciously. Axel is there, looking a little dejected. The Featherfall Five. Fine, Cleo, fine. 
You win. Yeah. You win this time, Kitty. This time. You're fine, you're fine. Oh my god, you're freaking mad. I have got to snip those. It's like every time I snip one, two more show up. Hydra mats. Alright, Hydra mats. Alright. Uh, that being said, I am going to turn this music down a little bit on my end since. Oh, I am. <coughs> <coughs> So, as you all gather, I'm sure by now all of you are quite familiar with, are quite aware of the tragedy that has befallen us today. There's a couple grumbles from the various circus folk. We would do well to try and find this culprit, because if they may, if they struck out Myron and possibly did something to put snakes into the audience and the like, then it could be that they are still lurking around here and... Frankly, they may not be done with whatever their goals are. What's worse is that they could even be among us ourselves. Oh crap! I'll I'll be right back. I have sorry. I have the a phone call to take. Yep. So. We all turn to look at uh, the snake lady. Eliza just kind of. But, um, ho hold on, hold on. H how how about you? You can look at my wagon and see if all of my darlings are present there. Uh, I think uh, Vermala would show the uh, snake head that she gathered to see if she could identify it. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> Vermala eventually uh, emerges from the tent where she was tending to the wounds of the trapeze artists. Hmm. I don't know if she looks familiar, but is this one of your darlings? She says, uh, holding out the head to Eliza, who kind of flinches back because, you know, seeing a snake head makes her a little twitchy. Um, but she eventually leans in and takes a considering look at it and shakes her head. No, it's it's none of the ones I have. I'm sorry, who did you say all is here again? Okay. So we have a number of the uh, circus performers standing around the fire here. Um, there are the dwarven throwers, the... Um, there is Eliza, who is the snake handler. Um, though she did not perform in the previous in the evening's tricks, um, she was more out pleasing the crowd with her constrictor. Um, there are uh, none of the trapeze family. Um, what the heck are their names again? Featherfall uh, five. five. Thank you. None of the Featherfall <laughs> Five. The Kanbali family. Uh, none of the Featherfall Five are there as they are um, a little shaken and uh, you know, that that was that was quite the brush with 
potential breaking of necks. Um, so they are huddled together. Um, Virmala was tending to them, but came out to address the gathering. Um, and of course, the professor is there. Um, the Flam the Flamboni sisters are uh, help. They are fire jugglers, but as um, Gaslo was performing in that capacity, I believe uh, they were more pleasing. The, you know, outdoing crowd pleasing stuff. So, and they are also aiding the crowd in departing. Um, there is also Axel, who, um, who has a whole bunch of birds. He fancies himself a magician in the sleight of hand fashion. Um, he's been sort of pestering Myron to get a spot on the show for a while. Um, but he's fairly green, as it were. Mm. Mm. Okay. So who was in the tent while we were getting ready? Who was who was in the big tent, or the big top while we were uh, before all of the stuff actually happened? Because there was. Well, our, all of you our... were. Um. The ones who weren't in the tent um, were Axel, as you converse amongst the people. Uh, the people okay. you find to... Why is this not... What's going on here? Hold on a moment. Oh, no. Don't want that one. That's a little sinister. Oh, I just got a message. Oh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> so. Yeah, sure. You said Axel, and who else? Um, as far as people outside, uh, probably Axel, the Flamboni sisters. You don't remember seeing them inside as well. There are also a number of roustabouts that work for the camp, um, that work with the circus. Okay, so we have potentially a lot of suspects. And Eliza was outside as well. So wait, why would why would we suspect them if they would be outside or inside? That's I'm trying to because um, I was thinking that they would be I would be, I would be thinking that it would be someone that was inside the tent because they'd have to be working on all of the different stuff that went wrong actively, and it's it's not like well, it's not like they could have just had this. Well, I, excuse me, as as someone who is. Uh, bit of an expert on animals, says Tuck. Uh, there are certain druids who know how to instruct animals to do things when they are not around. I'm sure there are other types of people who can do that, too. Hmm. Yeah, and wasn't the... Um, uh, wasn't the, the snake that poisoned uh, Myron actually slithering oh, off somewhere. You're right. That's what it looked like. So it's more likely someone that was outside. Where? What direction was the snake going, by the way? Where was it headed? Before... V Virmala thinks for a moment and um looks over at the wagon near uh, near that Felix is standing by, which is 
Myron's wagon. I do believe it was heading towards that one. Towards Byron's wagon? Mm-hmm. Why would it head there? Um, mm. I think we should we should search it. Um, search the wagon. Search the wagon. Search the Burn wagon. It. Burn it down. Okay, I'll calm down. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Please do because that's really loud in my earbuds Sorry. that are plugged directly into my ear. <clears throat> Have you tried not having them plug directly into your ear? <laughs> um, easier for me to actually move around and, and do things without having the headphones are we, on. Are we making headphones wouldn't be head? much better. Yeah. Um, all right, so uh, Myron's wagon. Uh, hold on one moment. I am going to do 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 do. Where is it? I don't like that one. I guess that's fine. I'll use this one. Cat, can you like not have your paw there? Nope. <laughs> Like she's letting me see everything except for what I what I was looking for. <laughs> yep. All right. So. Oh my God! I said cancel. I don't need two instances of that open. Okay. So the wagon is uh, the the door to the wagon is locked. Uh, uh, let's search Byron's I'll... body for a key. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. you were about to blow something up. Oh, wait, no, I'm the one that blows something up. You puff out spores. I, I was going to pick the lock, but probably just be easier to use a key. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can we just kind of look his look over his body and see if he has a key? Sure. You uh, all go back. Perception or... No, not all of us. Do not. All, all of right, us I... do not go back in. <clears throat> Please. All right. No. For, all right. I will let you know what you need to roll. Who wants to go and invest and investigate uh, Myron's body? Yeah, I'll go. I'll, go. I'll do it. All right, so uh, yeah. Mike O'Nid and Gaslow return to the big top where um, Myron's body remains. It's under the under his cape. Um, Virmala goes with you as she plans to tend to the um, Featherfall Five. Uh, some some more. Um, so as you uh, look under the cape it's pretty easy to find his keys um they're just sitting in one of his pockets um virmala takes a closer look at him while you're doing that oh nice and furrows her brow in confusion. That is odd. What's odd? He's bitten multiple times. And so? Don't snakes usually bite more than once? No. Oh, wait. I, I'm not talking. Not typically. Huh. Maybe there was more than one. Perhaps. If not, then... Well, what the snake did was certainly overkill. Even for species as venomous as that one. So we can rule out mishandling of pets. 
So, I guess that kind of confirms this definitely was a murder, right? Or something made the snake act out of sorts. You guys should, you guys should come back uh, where we are and. and how, how about how about you wait? <laughs> it's All called right. role playing. Nobody here is psychic, so. You're not the theater. You're at the bar. <laughs> now, I know that we should probably get back to the others and report this, but I think we should just sit here for half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. Uh, can I roll in a, a uh, perception check on the body to see if I can see anything else that may have been missed? Um, it would be more of a medicine check. Oh, okay. All right. No. Eh, what's the harm? Uh, uh, how the, oh, right. Uh, it's not working for some reason. I mean... Oh, here it you is. you want to try and see what the party cleric couldn't find, sure. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, it decided to set... Because, uh, like, medicine is usually wisdom, right? Yep. Yeah, I accidentally clicked more on the wrong part, so. Hmm? I think it would be more intelligence than wisdom. Oh, it was, a, it was defaulted to wisdom, so. Well, it's so, wisdom in the game. Yeah. Medicine oh, okay. is wisdom. Alright, alright. Alright, boop. Oh, nice. Sex. Okay. So, you got exactly what Virmala got, and you do as well notice that there are multiple snake, snake bites. Um, Around, around uh, Myron's legs, above the leather boot, of course. Interesting fact. Hmm. He wasn't handling the snake at all. This, this is directed like directly at his legs, which tells me the snake may have sought him out. That was what I was trying to get at, but okay. Well, not to be outdone. I say, remember what, what that guy said about druids? That was Tuck. Or, you know, druid. Yeah, how they can make snakes control, or they can control snakes and to do their bidding and stuff. Don't druids also turn into certain animals? Like snakes? Well, Ramala killed the snake that bit him. Oh. And as oh. far as I know, they transform back. So, <clears throat> so this is an excellent example of a bit of metagaming where uh, Gaslo is in one area conversing with people and sharing thoughts. Oh, I thought they came back. Oh, no. My bad. No. <laughs> Um, I was supposed just... to be like, talking with it, with uh, Mike in it, but it's okay. It just takes some getting used to. Um, <laughs> no, I'm serious. Uh, it, it's a, uh, I've, I've run the game for a lot of people. I'm not chiding. I'm just giving, instructing as we go. Um, sometimes it's instinctive to jump in um but yeah just something to bear in mind okay so uh mike yeah you also notice lots of snake bites around his leg oh god what the hell is that thing that's what i said Virmala looks concerned. What? What? What do you see? It's that thing, that weird protrusion from his torso. Oh, that's an arm. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you have arms. <laughs> yeah, which is why I was confused. I wasn't aware that humanoids had arms too. I technically have three, bro. 
Oh, well that just makes you more efficient. More arms means more humanoid. <laughs> That's going in the quote book. <laughs> all right. Are you are you all done here? Do you go back to the rest? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> all right. The point I thought that was kind of funny because like I was trying to RP my character just through the sheer sort of deductive intelligence, and somebody else was just calling out from outside the tent in response. Yeah. <laughs> And also do bear in mind, you don't necessarily know everything that a druid can do, though I'd say shape-shifting is relatively knowledgeable, uh, something people would know. I don't know that the layman would know that they shape-shift back if they get... Uh, yeah, Dazzle just wrong. knows if turns, they turn to animals. Um, they don't know if they can turn back. <laughs> well, anyway. Um, that being said, everybody returns to the fire. Mm -hmm. What'd you find? Uh, we found the keys. Uh, and also, it looks like he was bit a lot of times. On the legs. So it looks like a cold-blooded murder? Doesn't matter. That snake was really, really angry at him. I didn't take a look inside of his pants, so I can't tell if the snake was jealous or not. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I don't understand that reference. What what do his pants have to do with anything? <laughs> You'll find out when you grow up, honey. <laughs> Mike just looks confused. He's like, was the snake jealous that it couldn't wear pants? Because, <laughs> you know, I can't wear pants, but I, I've never really thought about wearing them. It doesn't seem like that big of a deal. Insert trouser snake joke here. <laughs> oh You're a trouser snake. <laughs> there goes your monetization. Uh, I never planned on having it anyway. I, I need yeah, I need like a thousand subscribers and regular watchers, so it's it's whatever. <laughs> you can just take take the video off the channel eventually. It's okay. Anyway, so you have the keys. You have relayed yes. information to the rest of the party. Mm-hmm. What do you do now? Let's use these keys. Um, Who wants to yeah. do the honors? Mm -hmm. uh, who has the highest... Who's the best at ref uh, uh, react? Who has the best reaction time in the group? Because I have a feeling something might jump out at us. Well, Gaz is out. <laughs> My reflex. Oh, what the? My reflex is plus six. All right, I guess I'll do it. Ah. Uh -huh. What is Gaslosa? Like, what? Shouldn't my will be higher, considering, you know, I'm a sorcerer? <laughs> my will's plus five. <clears throat> Wait, oh, so, my reflex is plus nine for since, some reason. Since okay. Your will is uh, higher, but you don't have wisdom, which is what modifies will. Oh. Yeah. I see. All right. So, Cinder, you go over to the door. You're going to use the key to open it. Okay. <clears throat> One moment. Late. 
there time to use detect magic before opening the door? Uh, yes. You do not detect any. Okay. Um. Okay. So. Opening the door of the wagon, you notice something odd for a brief moment. Within, hold on, I do need to make sure I have the right number. Ah. Within the otherwise normal looking ringmaster's wagon, you find three, no, four, rather strange pods. Two Pod. feet tall, scattered oh. about the wagon. Yellow spores fill the room. And as the door opens, the plants seem to produce more, belching them forth into the air. Can I reflex save to hold my breath? <laughs> uh, one moment. Let's see here. Oh, I want to play a game on this so bad. <laughs> okay. So, <clears throat> it is more of an attack. The pollen blasts forth uh, with a strong enough amount of force to knock the door off its hinges. Jesus. It deals a little bit of damage to you. However, it's less meant for damaging and more meant for... We'll save. If Victory Bell use Poison Spore. Okay, I'm a hero. So, uh, if you want, you can use a hero point there. Actually, you know what? Let's see it. All right. <laughs> uh -oh. At the um. Wait, why did I confuse? Him? Huh? Oh. Shit, I don't know. Oh, I probably have you up on the initiative tracker for some reason. Oh. I mean, don't get me wrong. This plant is giving my spore envy, but, you know. <laughs> All right. So Four. this is a hazard, but it does require initiative. So roll. Ooh, everybody? Yep. Hell yeah. Uh, where do I roll that? Oh, do I just... Uh, first Main page. tab... Look for initiative. Ah. I will be back in just a second. All right. Mala stayed behind, so she is not going to be involved in this. Um, okay, so Cinder, you are confused. Oof. Now. Ah, one moment. Where's 
so I can't rely on my knowledge of what confused used to mean. So, oh, all right. There's so, just so much Pokemon going here. <laughs> so with the with the glowing, or not the glowing, with the pollen obscuring your your face and disorienting you, you get the impression that uh, you just need to attack it, and maybe you could cut the plant apart. Unfortunately, you are confused, so you will swing wildly. And you will hit you yourself. Might, well, it's more like you might hit gas. <laughs> that was close. It looks like a victory bell. So here's here's what I want you to do, Cinder. Um, as you attack wildly, um, let's see. You're probably you'd probably be going with just a, a I'm gonna say regular poi, not the fire poi, because that requires far more intention. Um, so go ahead and make an attack roll, but drag it into the chat box. Okay. Um, do, do, do combat. Whoa. Is that what I use? Combat or no? Actions. Actions. The actions tab. Oh, okay. Do, 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 do. So, okay. Okay. Oh, that was not it. Okay. That is it. No, that was not it. I'm not going. Crap, one sec. Sorry. It's all right. There you go. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Uh, oh, all sorry, right. sorry. I'm screaming. It's okay. <laughs> Um, so, so in this scenario, um, you swing your poi around Gaslo nimbly ducks, and it comes around to smack you in the head. <laughs> it's immediately bought. Oh, okay. He really did hit himself in his confusion. <laughs> I guess um, this is like Pokemon first victory bell now confusion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tuck Buckerford uh, kind of circles around, takes a look at the at the plants. You're also getting a, a, a few hallucinations there, Cinder. Oh, that's par for the course, man. I'm used to you that. you could have sworn you tried to attack one of the pods, um, and then it just like Swap. smacked you upside the head. How a pod it smacked you upside the head, you you don't know, but it managed it. Um, that cheeky plant, right? So. I will say that Tuck, um, he is going to, he's going to produce flame at that thing. Yeah. Um, where, oh, it's not there for some reason. Okay, hold on a moment. All right, so it's supposed to be. Thank you. 
check my phone. 20. So. <clears throat> Okay. okay. Um, so he is going to produce flame at the thing because that just makes sense. He is a simple country man. He is a simple country boy. Um, let's see here. So yeah, attack. Unfortunately, in trying to avoid hitting uh, one of you guys, he misses. Um, well, Don, I guess I'll have to give it another shot next time. He's only going to... Oh, wait. It's a cantrip. Wait, yeah. It's two actions. He already moved. Oh, oh, yes. oh, oh. Okay, yeah. It's all good. I knew where you were going with that. <laughs> All right, so that was Tuck Buckerford's turn. Uh, Felix, you're up. All right, Mr. Kitty. You stay. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and, and open this so you guys can actually see the thing. You guys should be able to see it now. Yeah. I will stay back here and snap my whip at it. Okay. Mm. Oh, the twenty. Nice. Okay. Scorpion whip. Sounds so fucking bad. Get over here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. A little bit resistant. See how this plays out. Okay, I knew the name of it. So the real actual name of the picture of the plant that you posted is called a nepenthe. It's a carnivorous plant. Okay. Uh, I am back. I Sorry about that. It's all right. You're back just in time. Oh, nice. Yeah, I ordered pizza and they got lost. Oh. Uh. Yeah. I have fajitas on the way at some point. I got 20 McNuggets coming. <laughs> All right, Mike, you're up. Okay. What did I miss? <laughs> a, a lot of everybody <laughs> missing. No, uh, I hit. Uh, I, hit yeah. I hit myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay then. It's like it's Mike's time to shop. Get a mushroom, man! Um, My pronouns are they, them. Attack. Get a mushroom, them. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, so for my first action, I am going to start singing and get inspire and inspire some courage. Okay. Hell yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so let me just drop that on everybody. Do, do, do. Wish there was a faster way to apply it to people, but you know what? I think, I think it should take the form of him like releasing a type of spores. And well, the I mean, us he does. The bonus, us getting the bonus from inhaling the spores. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much what a lot of his effects are. I should note <laughs> that when, that when he actually sings, it's not his normal low gravelly voice. It's very, it's odd. It's very. Well, for one, it's feminine, and it's very <laughs> haunting. Okay, okay. I'm getting, I'm getting, um, I, I, I know you dislike them, but I'm getting Elf Song Tavern vibes. Are you familiar with, Jack are you familiar? Black, but okay. <laughs> I am not familiar with that. So the Elf Song Tavern is a tavern in, I want to say, um, Baldur's Gate. Mm -hmm. um, oh my gosh! That oh my gosh! Where uh, there is a con uh, near constant um, elven, uh, feminine elven voice singing. Um, what is Formala doing? Huh? Oh, I see. She she's oh. back at the tavern. Or not oh no! Back I was the tavern. Sorry, about... she's back in the tent. 
Anyway. I was talking um, about all this stuff that was popping up in the chat box. Oh, that's, uh, that's me, yeah, inspiring courage. Hell yeah, inspiration. Okay. Well, I guess basically the idea behind it is, is that since, you know, part of my, part of my mushroomy nature is, comes from, uh, sort of absorbing a dead hag, that I have some of those haggish qualities. Ah, so haunting so, melodies. Yes, so that's the reason why he's downright hideous for Aleshi, but also it's one of the reasons why, he, you know, he's oddly charming and influential. He's like Ron okay. Jeremy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Damn. I'm not wrong. <laughs> he's okay. like... oh, hey, that... hey, 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 hey. That horrible thought in mind uh and for my next action i am going to use electric arc all right damn okay do, do, do. Bang. one damage all right. Mm, immune to electricity, huh? Or resistance. Good to know. So, Mr. Kitty is staying... <laughs> you moved Mr. Kitty onto the fire. I mean, oh, hey. Hey. Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. The spores just kind of sizzle and pop before I'll they the get... Fire. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh boy. I also laptop. have to make sure that I have Mr. Kitty on your initiative instead of his own, so I'll adjust that real quick. Um, so we are now on Gaslight. Hell yeah! I am going to punch this thing. <laughs> okay. Alright, so I think um, one, one powerful fist should probably uh, do it. Uh, all right. Let me fucking grab the damn dice. Hello. Oh. Ooh, did it do a thing? I got 17 on there. Uh, so you can actually drag and drop your attack onto either the token of whatever you're attacking or onto oh. its entry in the combat tracker. Um... Where's the combat tracker? The combat tracker is the uh, icon in the upper right hand corner that has the uh, human silhouette or the, you know, person silhouette with the two cross swords. Oh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> so go ahead and drag and drop the results. Because um, if you do end up rolling into the chat box, you can drag and drop the results on your target as well. Okay, so I'm just trying to figure that out, so, uh... Okay. Alright, so I got the, the combat tracker open, do I, uh... You see the, the entry at the top that says trap? Oh, okay. Yeah, just drag and drop the results onto that. Alright, just after I do my attack roll, now when I do my you, attack roll hold, today... Hold on, so... hold on. You already okay. rolled an attack roll. Okay, yeah, that's for to see if I hit it, right? Or, yes. Okay. Oh, so what? drag and drop the results onto the trap. Oh, okay. So that would be a miss. Oh wow. Oh. Oh. Absolutely. Okay. This thing has a high AC for something that's pretty much stationary. Yeah. Either that or it's really small. Uh, they are two feet tall and incredibly thick. Oh. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> he said it, not me. I was thinking it. <laughs> I think we all were. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you chose the wrong group if you're trying to not go with innuendos. <laughs> I've been making way too many innuendos tonight. 
<laughs> Yours are fine. Let's just avoid. Just... Let's just avoid things that are certainly Over. not innuendos. All right. So, do I have one extra action, or is that my? Uh, move? That, that's your attack. So you have two more actions. <sighs> gonna try one more. Okay. I'm gonna go four flurry of blows. Ooh. Cause just screw it. Now, do I go with the second tub? attack with flurry of blows or the first one you go with the second and third attack yeah i i okay good to know oh oh ouch oh Yeesh. Uh. That is, those are guaranteed misses <laughs> most definitely now on the upside uh, I am not playing with uh, critical misses right at this moment. Uh, with certain you exceptions. Made me whack myself in the face. I said <laughs> with certain exceptions. Um, so, like, oh, if yeah. your name isn't Levi, you should be safe. Uh, we, gotta, we gotta, we gotta initiate the new guy here and. <laughs> Uh, I can imagine, uh, you ever see one of those, uh, videos where someone is doing the, uh, the boxing, uh, the, the, the boxing, uh, oh, yeah. back thing, and then they hit it, and then it hits them back in the face? Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, All right. So, uh, so, yeah, those are two definite misses. Um, Virmala's not oh. technically on the board. Um, and now it is the trap's turn. As the pods proceed to burst, they, they quiver and seem to pulse and turn down. And as they quiver, they, and another jet of pollen launches forward from each of the pods within... One going at Gaslo. Oh. Oh, yeah, that hits. One going at Felix. Ouch. And one going at Tuck Buckerford. Oh, my God. Wow. Zach, if you could stop trying to kill us, that'd be great. I, you know... <laughs> hey, man. Back in the day, it was casual if you died. <laughs> oh, I guess wow. I gotta roll a new character. <laughs> oh, wow. Alright. Um, yeah, so... Okay. Um, that being Why said... Why is not out here? Um, oh. Critical failure. Now, if anybody wants to spend a hero point, yeah, let me know. Uh, All right, Tuck is fine. Felix, uh, I, you were... Yeah, that was a miss. Alright. What? Uh-oh. Uh, so who wants, to, who wants to spend a hero point? Uh, since mine had the critical failure, I think I might want to spend and re-roll that one again. Alright. All right, is that a will save? Um, go ahead and... Oh, we should have had... I thought I gave you more than that. There you go. Uh, go ahead and spend the hero point there. Oh, you already did. No, yeah, I already did. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Um, good. And yeah, that will be a will save. Come on, let's do this. Oh, nice. Go. Okay, so you succeed. What about you there, uh, Felix? No, I'm good. All right. (laughs) Um, Okay, so... Oh, my God, come on. 
Oh, so Felix caught. is now confused for one round and takes negative two penalty on perception checks against mental effects. All right. Cinder, you're up, and you are no longer confused. That should have... Yep, okay, cool. So that was removed from you already. All right. Uh, one thing. Oh, excuse me. Probably just start with frickin' uh, produce. Yeah. Uh, do I just drag it onto. Okay, so if you are looking at your character sheet there, Cinder. Yeah, I'm looking at. Okay, uh, hold on. I gotta look at it now. <clears throat> and you're in your actions tab, and you're looking at produce flame. Click on that little magnifying glass to the right of it. Um, and let's see here. You, let's see, small, M spell, R spell. What the hell is M spell, R spell? Melee ranged. That makes sense. That makes sense. So, yeah, um, you would grab the little sword icon and drag that on whatever you are attacking. Okay, am I in melee range or would it be... That depends on which on what you want to do. You can back up and cast it, or you can get up close and personal and cast it. Um, whatever. I'll back up and cast it. Actually, no, I'm not going to move at all because I want to. I want both my attacks. I want the attack with. Uh, I want the attack with produce flame and then uh, box fire. Okay. I think it's. It, oh, wouldn't I be in melee then? Yes. So you're probably moving more like right there. Uh, you know what? I'm going to hero point it, I think. Just because. Right. Do it. I want to get some damage on him. How do I? Oh, I have to double click it. Mm -hmm. There you go. Do it again. Come on. There we go. There we go. So now you drag and drop the uh, blood drop yep. uh, for the it. fire onto it. Yes. Five. Wait, partially resisted? What? Mm -hmm. Okay. So go ahead with your fox fire. And that would be no. I would use the I would use the first one, right? Not the second. One. I believe so. I, I, yeah, because uh, it's the, the first, first one was attack. foul. And these ones are actual attacks. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Nice. Nice. Ooh. And then what do I? Do? Okay, I see. There we go. Hey. Did some good damage there. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> Tuck Buckerford. And as a reward, my food is here. There you go. Hey. I'll be right back. Ah, damn. Okay, so he tried to recall knowledge. Um, that did not quite work out. So he's going to do second verse, same as the first. He's throwing that produce flame. Oh. So he crits. I got to make sure I drop that there. So that is a crit. And... It now has persistent fire damage on it. Yay. Um, with this barrage of ta attacks, 
Um, not one, but two of the plants uh, have been battered into submission. Yeah. So only two more remain. Felix, I do believe you are confused this round. Roll an yeah. attack into the um, chat box. And I will determine who it goes after. I'm going to say, let's see, you have your whip. One, two, three, four. Oh, you have range. So five. I'll do five. All right. I'm going to go Mr. Kitty counterclockwise. One, two for each person. All right. You lash out with your whip at Mr. Kitty. But you miss. Mr. Kitty's too too agile for that 15 to hit. Mike. And you are no longer confused. I was confused? You, no, Felix was. <laughs> and 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 now now Mr. Kitty is looking at you, Felix, looking very confused. Um Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mike, go ahead. Yep. One second. Let's see here. Okay. All right, enough screwing around. I'm casting Magic Missile. Ooh. And I'm spending three actions on it. So it's going to be 3d4 Magic plus missile. three. But there's no target. I'm casting it at the darkness. <clears throat> okay. It is not looking good. There is now only one plant left. One pod. Oh, shoot. What? There should actually be more damage. Oh. How much yeah. more? Uh, two. Two? All right. Let me yeah. see here. All right. Oh, oops. Because it only had the plus one for one missile. Ah. Uh, gotcha. All right. <clears throat> um, I don't know if it gets... Oh, yeah. I got you. Oh. Yeah. It, it's, it's supposed to be 1d4 plus one for each one. Um, anyway, Gaslo. Yes. You're up. All right. So I'm not confused right now, but I'm hurting pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. What can I do? What can I do? It's it's looking like it's hurting pretty bad. There's one there's one spore pod left. It's it's not it's not looking good. Still might be able to blast some of these spores. Oof, I am going to hit it. I am going to hit it hard. I'm going to hit it with Flurry of Blows. Okay. I've commit violence. <laughs> okay. You do violence. <laughs> Uh, all right, so let's see here. One of those hits, one of those misses. All right. And uh, so I hit it with a two d six or. Um no. Oh okay. Um, you would just roll your normal damage. Okay, so it's a oh, bludgeoning. Uh, uh, oh, okay, I see. Two d six plus two. Oh, uh, okay. So with flurry of blows, um, what that is is you rapidly attack. Uh, blah blah blah. You make two unarmed strikes. If both hit the same creature, you combine their damage. Hence that, for the purpose of oh, resistances okay. and weaknesses. So, so it's so, only the one d six. 
minus two. Yeah. Right? It's only the 1d6 plus one that you hit with. So your regular... Your regular lethal fist. So just go ahead and roll that. It's a way to get a little extra damage and also allow you to... Uh, um, I think attack more than once in an action. Yeah. Ah, okay. So how do I? Because uh, I click on the ability and it gives me okay. just the two. Yeah, you don't. So you don't. You're back to the actions tab. Okay. Yeah, I'm at, I'm in the see, actions tab. You see your powerful fist, lethal. Oh yeah. So I just grab one of those instead. No, you you grab the one d six plus one from that, and you okay. drop that onto the enemy. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Or I'll drop it onto the enemy, I suppose. <laughs> so you pound the final pod into submission, and it gives a splat. A final puff <laughs> of pollen. Is it, it still vaguely pitcher shaped? It's more. It's closer to um, pancake or or something like that shaped. I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, please don't. I was no. I was just thinking like I just want to pick the damn thing up, you know, put my mouth on it, and then light up the bottom of it. <laughs> turn into a bomb. <laughs> uh, I mean, it is fire resistant. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Players gotta use what the DM gives them. Just All right, both of you lose hero points. I'm a motherfucking smoke it. I don't care. Oh, my God. <laughs> Anyway. So you're just gonna have to like cut audio for <laughs> five minutes. <laughs> Alright. Don't TPK. Don't TPK. Oh. This is for the audience. <laughs> but, yeah, I didn't see any patrols just randomly appears in the circle. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, what do you guys do? <clears throat> okay. Investigate the wagon. Yeah, what, what the hell was that? Hmm? Either that was left for us or left to make sure that uh, Byron didn't survive the snakes. Either that or Ringleader really knows how to party. No, I'm leaning towards it, a trap for Myron. Why now? Well, see if there's anything in there. Oh, uh -huh. <sighs> Okay. So Felix looking around. Um. The wagon is filled with a number of uh, personal belongings that Myron gathered from his um, various travels. There are, um, of course, each side of the wagon has stamped on it, painted on it, uh, the Circus of Wayward Wonders in large capital letters. There's also a number of images um, depicting some of the most famous acts of the show. Um, let's see here. You find a few mementos. There is a crystal vial of some sort, um, on something that, uh, on his, on a desk. Uh, the room is lit by an ever-burning torch, um, that you know Myron has had for a while. There is a bearskin hat marked with gold leaf and a cape that you recognize as uh, 
been once worn by a uh, an animal trainer who came um, to the show before um, uh, before you actually you heard about his um, or well not before you but you sort of took his place after uh, he was robbed and killed oh. um, he was Fortunato he, uh, his animal was uh, the bear that has served more or less as um, as, as one of the Circus of Wayward Wonders mascots mm. so I am going to look at that bearskin hat politely take off my top hat and put that on okay <laughs> And I would like to pick up the cape. Can we look for clues before we start looting? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're looting a dead man's caravan here. What do you think I'm doing? I'm getting into character. <laughs> I'm yeah, just looking enough. at it. <laughs> I'm going okay. to roll a perception check as well, so... Mm -hmm. I'm going nope. to... Um, there's nothing unusual about it. It's... Uh... Just judging from what you know, um, it was probably kept as, a, well, as a keepsake because he was mm. a well-liked person in the group. And, mm -hmm. yeah. Hmm. All right. I'll uh, just put it back and keep looking. Okay. Um... I'm going to look under the wagon. All right. Uh, you look under the wagon and find nothing really of note. Darn. Okay. Mm. That's okay. Well, I'm out of ideas. You're being thorough. Um, right. So is oh, there anything of note I... besides this crystal on the, or crystal decanter on the counter? I am. Um... It's it's more of a vial, but vial. Yeah. Uh, other than that, there's not really anything you can uh, discern. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk up to uh, to Felix and say, "Hey, you should look for uh, footprints around the wagon and see if there's any leading off to a weird uh, weird weird place." Hmm. Well, I'm gonna. Sorry, go ahead. Felix, you would know that the wagon being where it is is in a fairly high traffic area that a lot of people have trampled over. Um, finding anything that was that that could be tied to someone would be damn near impossible. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. I think that I think it's not next, likely. the next course of action is to take this plant thing and then have someone examine it. <clears throat> that might be an idea. Yeah. That's true, it, me. That you do. That would be tough. Uh, hold on one moment. Alright. So, oh, I have five minutes of screen time left. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Darren, you now have your gold leaf bearskin hat. Yes. Yes, I'm going to be collecting all the hats. <laughs> Thank you. What is this, TF2 now? Um... Uh, <laughs> A mushroom of many hats. Indeed, indeed. Okay. So. Um, examining it a little closer. Tuck Buckerford takes a look at it, sniffs it, and... Hmm. 
Looks like a dream pollen plant. Dream pollen. Yeah, dream pollen pod. They, um, uh, are known to grow relatively fast, um, if coaxed in the right way. I wouldn't be surprised if it was put there relatively mm. recently. Is that, uh, for recreational use, or, uh, I suppose it would could be recreational use, except for the fact that the pollen kind of, well, you saw what it did. It makes people kind of lash out. I don't know about dreams. All I saw was boy. It gives you hallucinations, um, clouds your mind, and you know, it would be nice if not for the violence. Somebody really had it out for this guy. Or maybe they left it for anybody who was investigating his death. Are these easy to come by? Hmm. Yeah, this is the right climate for him. Wow. These snakes really do have resources. Um, sorry, what, what was that? Who said what? <laughs> Mike was, was saying... Was that you, David, right after, right after Mike? Yeah. Just gonna <laughs> your life, laugh. Okay, what, what did you say? Now, who could have planted this evidence? Ah! <gasps> uh, oh, Fire. take it, you... <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Pardon my language. <laughs> you got him, boys. Oh, that hurt. I just hurt my brain. Oh man. Oh, I think I, I think my nose is bleeding. Oh, <laughs> an anime. All right. Um. Well. You've you've examined a single wagon, and there is a a whole plethora of places you can take a look. Oh, to try oh, and yeah. seek out. Um, wagon oh, next. A few to more it. wagons around here. Oh, there's a number of I wagons. Think we should, we should search in pairs at least. Considering the fact that you know we just had one wagon. Well, may I also comment on uh, this whole uh, debacle? Uh, Marion wasn't the only one who was attacked. The Featherfall Five were also uh, uh, attacked as well. The what? How were they attacked? Oh, it was more like sabotage. That... Yeah, yeah. The, their attack was sabotage. So it's not just n merely we're going after the one. Yeah, they're going after everybody. And no there way. was also the uh, snake in the cr snakes in the crowd. Yeah. Mm. Um. William. Yeah, we should go check. We should go check around the big top. Or did we not? Or did we already do so? Or no? You you guys have looked around the big top. Um, that's where you found the chewed through nets. You eventually found those snakes, though, and shoot them off. Right, but... Um, okay. I want to go check out my wagon. Your wagon? Because now I'm, uh... worried. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I will say that your wagon... is that one. Since it's right in front of a pen, that's the pen that um, ah, yes. Mr. Kitty that tends perfectly. to take. Yes. Okay. Our little practice ring. That is incorrect, sir. That's a circle, not a square or a box. Cat what? would not stand there. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> 
Good for you there, Levi. Good for you. <laughs> it fits, it sits. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I guess, yeah, that's true. <clears throat> oh, okay. um, I'm so I, I apologize, but I don't even know your name, but um when you transfer over to your phone, could I possibly take Are, are you, uh, David, are you heading out right, right about now? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and take a, a moment. Um, say five or so minutes. I gotta, I gotta use the restroom anyway. So, Alrighty. Um, I will put on intermission music. Be right back. <laughs> Thank you. 